Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are coming at us from today on this beautiful Sunday, wherever you are. May you know that you are loved, you are treasured, and that you are adored, and that your presence is a present and what your mindfulness matters. Hello, my name is Holly Duckworth. I am the Mindful Leadership Guide working with CEOs and executives around the world to find the power of calm in these chaotic times. Um, if you've been watching the, sh the live shows for the last couple weeks or, or seen one or two, you know on Sunday I like to uh, make a mindful, intentional choice to get out of my office and yet still honor the, um, the shutter-in-place orders that are still present here in the state of Colorado. So I am coming at you live from my beautiful backyard. Thank goodness I can, I can still be on Wi-Fi and, uh, and be in my, my backyard. My, my dear beloved set us up a little um, outdoor living room. And now I'd just like to point out that while it may be beautiful blue sky today, uh, we'll probably have sun again, on, I mean snow again on Thursday and Friday of next week. We call this um, spring in Colorado. So we're talking about mindfulness in a time of mindlessness where it's so easy to get hit by the wave of fear or wave of grief. Hello, Kim, welcome to the show. I hope you are enjoying this beautiful sunny day here in Colorado. So I'm coming at you from my backyard to uh, really remind people the importance of taking a few moments out of your office, out of your house, out of, out of the, the crazy. And one of the things that, uh, that I am doing is I'm taking a little time to just enjoy, enjoy the blue sky. And somebody told me a hat is a thing. So today I thought it would be fun to demonstrate. You don't have to do your hair. You can just, just wear a cute hat. So if you've got a hat this week, pull out your hat and give yourself a little, little bit of fun. So we're using my book as the guideline for this, uh, this great adventure. It's um, Everyday Mindfulness from Chaos to Calm in a Crazy World. I wrote this book in 2018, thinking it was chaotic then, and that we were living in a world of bigger, better, faster, and more. And that we needed a daily invitation to slow down. We needed to give ourselves permission to think about how we were being in the doingness of life. And every month has a different theme. And for most of the months, I invite an inspirational quote and a story. But in the month of April, we're focused on affirmations. What you think about, you bring about. And an affirmation is a short, present tense statement that really affirms your mindset for that particular day or that, that experience. Um, affirmations have been a powerful tool in me creating my life's work. And uh, today's, uh, today's affirmation on this beautiful Palm Sunday is, I am kind. Affirmations promote a good quality mindset. The statements are simple and have words sometimes we often don't hear. Like this week, we explored peace, we explored joy, we explored words like fun. Kind is a word that up until this pan pandemic, we probably didn't think of altogether that often. Today, I want you to spend some time being kind to yourself. Kindness is n a natural character. It's our essence. It's our natural way of being. And the more kind, my friend, Today, be more kind. And I'm so grateful to be friends with Linda Cohen. She is a professional speaker. Hey, look, blue car driving by, real life TV. This is awesome. So um, Linda Cohen is a good friend, and she teaches on the economy of kindness. And there's no greater time than a time of pandemic for us to explore the economy of our own kindness. And I'm, I know many of us are generously giving and sharing our products and services with one another, knowing that we're going to pay each other back down in, down in the future. And now's probably a good time to start that bank account of all of those things that you want to share and circulate into the future. I know um, that my good friend Shane is going to be helping me this afternoon um, build yet another website, and I look forward to that time of kindness shared with him. So kindness. We're spending a lot of time being kind to everyone else. Hello, Charlotte. Welcome to the Everyday Mindfulness Show. Welcome to my backyard. 
I've been doing this show every single day. Hi, Kevin. Welcome to the Everyday Mindfulness Show on Sunday. Uh, today I'm coming at you from my beautiful backyard. As you can see over my shoulder, I am so blessed. We have the, uh, the Rocky Mountain views coming off of our patio. And it's a big reason why I picked the, the tree house here in Colorado. So talking about being kind, our affirmation today is I am kind. And I want to invite you to utilize this affirmation all week long to move ourselves through these interesting times and this interesting week that we have ahead of us. Hello, Rick Finbo, welcome. So grateful to have you joining us. So we're talking about I am kind today. And I want us to shift to this week, not that we don't continue to do kind things for other people, but I want us to think about how we can be kind to ourselves this week. Um, I know a lot of us have been moving through interesting times wondering, how can I help? How can I help? How can I help? And we're all naturally wired to give to one another. This week, I want to invite us to being kind to ourselves. This is, for many people, a sacred and holy week. We've got Palm Sunday today. We've got Easter coming up next Sunday. And I know that many religious and spiritual traditions celebrate this in a lot of ways. But this week, I want to invite us to that golden thread of opportunity that moves through all of us. And that opportunity comes when we start from loving ourselves loving our work in the world and loving how we get to expand our energy even in this illusion of isolation. So I made a list. I was thinking about I am kind and how can I how am I being kind to myself in this time of, of pandemic? Um, when you teach you know leadership and self-help, I, I get an opportunity to explore these concepts myself and prove that they work. And so I made a list for you of the top 10 things that I want you to do to be kind to yourself this week. And I have really been careful to make sure that all of these ideas don't have a, a financial element, that you probably have the ability to do these with things you have just right in your house. Because I know all of us are looking to be kind to our finances in these uh, new and uncertain times. So number 10, a way to be kind to yourself this week is to call a friend or relative. In fact, it's, it's such a blessing to have Rick on the line. Um, Rick and I had shared a couple texts last week and then um, out of the blue, I was making a cup of tea, thinking about him because he had delivered that tea as a housewarming gift. And we called, quote unquote, out of the blue each other and, and had a lovely conversation. Didn't cost us anything, but just a few moments of kindness. And I know that we were both nourished in that kindness that we exchange. So this week, who's that friend or that relative, that person that you maybe haven't picked up the phone to and, you know, set a timer. I know we don't have a lot, of, you know, we have a lot of time and some of us don't have a lot of time. It's our busiest time ever. I know Rick's business is blooming and check out his work at psychicrick.com. Um, set a timer, 10 minutes is all it takes, but it's an opportunity to be kind to yourself. Number nine, go read a book. Or listen to an audio book. I know I have a library of them that I have downloaded and I've been making a commitment every night to just you know listen to a book because I've been spending a lot of time looking at this beautiful computer screen. Um, to just take a take number nine, a way to be kind to yourself, read a book or certainly you know grab the everyday mindfulness book. Maybe take a page from March or from another another month. Uh, number eight, take a class. Uh, masterclass.com, jump into a spiritual community, look up a class and take a moment to really get clear about something that you've always wanted to learn. I know Duolingo um, is really booming right now. Um, again, Rick is, a, is learning piano. We've sometimes used, oh, I'm an adult, oh, I've got too much, too many things to do as an excuse to not take care of our own desire to learn. Be kind to yourself this week and sign up for that class. I know even though I'm busy, I am currently involved in, an, in another self-help and leadership class. Number seven, this one's a fun one. Write yourself a thank you note. Write yourself a thank you note. What are you grateful for yourself? You know, we're right now we're seeing all over the news, thanking the grocery workers, thanking the first responders, the, the nurses. And I know later this week, um, the group that I'm involved in, we're gonna be posting um, what it means to be a business first responder and writing ourselves a thank you note because we may not be able to sew masks and I may not be able to go into the operating room, but I know that I can help your business have a positive and affirmative mindset. 
Number six, I'm demonstrating this one today. Wear a hat instead of doing your hair. Come on, let's have a little bit of fun. Then if you've watched any of the past episodes, be kind to yourself and play with something new. Um, I have another one here, um, Manny or Petty, anyone? I know there, there's a lot of men maybe out there saying, I'm not sure about a manicure or a pedicure. I just watched my regular Sunday service online and just took a little moment of self-care, um, put a little olive oil on, on my cuticles or a little coconut oil. Give yourself a little little extra foot rub or, or mani-pedi. The more we can be kind to ourselves, those waves of fear and doubt and uncertainty will be strengthened by the way that we strengthen our self-care practices. Number five, this one's a fun one. Connect to the earth. Plant a plant, plant a seed, or go look into the big blue sky. Uh, last Sunday we were challenged by, by our, our spiritual community to plant a plant. And I know not all of us have the ability to do this, but, but here's my plant. I hope you can see it. My, my plant. I planted a plant last week. And, you know, I didn't have, I'm not going to go out to a grocery store to plant a plant. I had a few plants in my house that just needed to be rerooted. And I, and I planted a plant and brought it outside and, and looking forward to watching it grow. Um, earth, connect to the earth. One way, doesn't cost you any money, but can be easy and a way you can be kind to yourself this week is connect to the earth. And I know all of us are living in differently enabled um, life experiences right now. Some of us are in flats and in condos and in townhouses and all types of living situations. But I want to tell you that nobody is exempt from this this week. Be kind to yourself excuse me, and find some earth. And I know it's possible because I even do this when I travel to Las Vegas. I actually go outside of my hotel and I look for that place where there's green soil or dirt or rocks and I put my feet in the earth. It is scientifically proven, you can look it up, earthing will help us to reset the meridians in our brain and heal our body. This is a great opportunity to be kind to yourself. Kevin's seeds aren't up yet. Well, keep, keep believing, Kevin. That's the beauty of both the physical seed and those seeds that we are planting in our mind, that I absolutely have a faith and trust that those seeds are going to grow. And we can't dig them up or we, or we mess with that, that earth's, earth's process. So number five, connect to the earth in some way this week. Go put your feet in the soil, plant a plant, or even just feel your feet in the ground and look up into that, to that beautiful blue sky with the absolute knowing that spring is springing up everywhere. Number four, ooh, this one may not apply to everyone, but I, I wanted to invite the conversation. Be kind to yourself. Take, take a day or a two or two and commit to no none of your vices no alcohol no, none of those those vices for one whole day be kind to yourself and take out one of those those pieces and see if you don't feel better or sound better it's a really powerful way to be kind to yourself hello Nikki welcome to the everyday mindfulness show I'm going through my top 10 list today's theme is I am kind and we've got a lot of social media out there right now about being kind to others. And I want to remind ourselves right now to be kind to ourselves. Number 10, call a friend or relative. Number 9, read a book. Number 8, take a class. Number 7, write yourself a thank you note. Number 6, wear a hat instead of doing a hair. Nikki, you've got a great pink hat. Number 5, connect to the earth or a plant. Number four, a day with no wine or alcohol, something that you see as a vice that might numb you or calm you. Can you just do one day and be kind with, without that? Number three, eat a salad. Eat something healthy. Find something fresh. We, uh, this morning we're making our omelets, and I was you know, adding all of the, the, the vegetables to it. Um, throughout the week, we've been making a lot of fruit smoothies. Um, as we go to the grocery store, we're seeing a lot more processed foods are moving off of the shelves. Um, it is the time of the harvest here, and, and lots and lots of fresh strawberries and things are showing up in our store. So if you're going grocery stop, shopping once a week or every two weeks, we're going every two weeks, make sure you pick up something fresh and be kind to yourself with the fuel, the food that you put into your body. Number two, drink a lot of water. This one, is, this one is my be kind to myself challenge for the week. Drink more water. A lot of us are spending more time on our screens. That blue light is often drying out our eyes and drying out our bodies and just the lack of movement. So be kind to yourself this week and drink more water. So the number 10 thing, 
that I want to invite us all to do to be kind to ourselves this week is take 10 minutes a day solo. I know we all, you know, we've got a lot of single moms on the show. We've got lots of busy executives that are running and one meeting on Zoom to the next meeting on Zoom. Uh, we're always trying to serve each other and take that next phone call. This cocooning time, this time of isolation, I want us to remember that this particular time is also a powerful time of self-reflection and getting comfortable with being with ourselves. I actually think part of this, this overall global reset is an invitation that we don't need to be in that space, as I said in my book, bigger, better, faster, and more. That it's a time for us and we're going to practice that, you know. If this is a new practice for you, maybe it's just, you know, one minute brushing your teeth or those two minutes in the restroom. But make a commitment to yourself to be kind to yourself this week. I will be kind to myself this week and I will find 10 minutes a day to be with myself. Yes, Sarah, thanks for, thanks for your thoughts and your, your wisdom here. She's like, I'm, I'm eating strawberries. Eating right is a huge way to be kind to yourself. And any one of these things are also great practices that when we are kind to ourselves, we can share that kindness with the world. So this, week, this day on this beautiful Sunday, Everyday Mindfulness, our mindset, our affirmation is I am kind. Let's start this week with a little bit of kindness for ourselves and know that that kindness ripples out into the world. So Sarah, what are you going to do to be kind to yourself this week? Hello, Stephen Foster, or should I say howdy? Thanks for joining us from Texas. I'm so grateful to have you on the Everyday Mindfulness Live Edition. Um, for those of you who are joining the show for the first time, um, this is a gift from my podcast. I have a podcast called The Everyday Mindfulness Show. You can learn more about it at everydaymindfulnessshow.com. And three weeks ago, as the world evolved and changed, I, I felt so gifted uh, in a conversation with a friend that, that the ask was, will you do your show, the Everyday Mindfulness show every day? And I have done the show live every single day. And you can watch all of the recordings on the everydaymindfulnessshow.com and again, get our weekly shows. We have a new show coming out tomorrow on Mindful Monday as well. So there's over 150 episodes of, of ways. You could even maybe make that your number 10 being... Uh, being a way to take a class. Uh, you could take our Everyday Mindfulness book in as your class. So feel free to use the chat box. What's one thing you're going to do to be kind to yourself this week? Um, I'll just give you a quick rundown on the 10 that I have been practicing in this time of pandemic. Number 10, call a friend or relative. You make it a, just a quick 10 minute call. Number nine, read a book. Number eight, take a class. Number seven, write yourself a thank you note. Number six, wear a hat. Do something fun with your hair. Number five, connect to the earth or plant a plant. Number four, take one of your vices, be it alcohol or smoking, and go one day without it. Number three, eat a salad. Number two, drink more water. And number, ten, number one, or the, the number 10 reason, is just take a few moments, even you know, 10 minutes a day by yourself to let yourself breathe in the change that's that's transforming us around the world. Sarah says, I'm walking barefoot on the earth and I had a wonderful walk with a husband and lovely kids. Well, Sarah, I was I wasn't gonna say this, but if you know the everyday mindfulness show and you know you know either the recorded or the live, I'm always super authentic. That was my hope today. I, I was hoping to uh, to do a little little walk on the earth, but I'm worried that I'll lose Wi-Fi signal. And Number number three is still on my list, the Manny Petty this week. So I didn't I didn't want to make you all witness my, my feet walking on the earth. Maybe we'll maybe we'll do that do that on another day as I can figure out the Wi-Fi. But Sarah, that is absolutely a powerful way that we can do many of these things to be kind to ourselves, to our family, and to the earth. So yes, get out and take a walk. Stephen's walking with his wife. I know my beloved partner and I are, are walking too. Uh, just really trying to be mindful with each and every step. That's another great practice is um, we do so much talking now and so many meetings that um, I try to really think about heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. Heel toe. So who knows how long this is going to be. Um, I want to invite you to, I'm going to put it, put Rick's um, reading in today's notes. He just did a great reading on 
the, these interesting times. Every month he does a, a collective reading um, using tar tarot cards to channel his energy. And in that he reminds us that we need to be kind to ourselves because we don't know how long this time is going to last, but we know in the great grand scheme of life that if there is, a, is um, one month or two months, that it really is short in the greater scheme of our lives. And so um, I'm going to make sure that you guys have access to that as well. And Stephen, I am pretty sure that motorcycle that just went by was in your honor. Um, it's so fun to get out. Every Sunday I come out or I go somewhere new uh, in, the, in the house to uh, make sure to remind us that we don't we don't have to just sit at our desks all day long and, and work or sit behind our, our TV screens watching movies um, or online um, things. Oh, Stephen's calling it wind therapy. I love it, Stephen. Um, that's one of the things that's, that's really an interesting um, challenge here in Colorado is um, we are in shelter in place. And so they're, they're asking us not to, to get in our cars and drive up to the mountains. And I know so many of us really want to. So... Um, Make sure that uh, you find that wind therapy, however um, life is supporting you. And I think that's really about today's message is be kind to yourself. This is a time for us to explore our passion. And I happen to know that one of Stephen's passions is his motorcycles and his farm and his family. Sarah, it seems, well, we haven't had the chance to chat that, you know, getting out and being with your family is important too. And I know, know Rick, you and your beloved David go out walking every day and you continue to sh show us great pictures. So this is the Everyday Mindfulness Show. We are going to keep coming at you live every single day on Facebook for however long it takes because I want you to remember that you are not alone in this time, that the waves of fear and grief and love and uncertainty are going to hit all of us in, in different times. Uh, feel free to grab any of the recorded shows and know that um, this week we're going to be offering some additional shows. So if there is someone or a resource you would like me to interview, please send me an email, holly at hollyduckworth.com, and let me know who I can interview for the show that might support you. This week we're going to be featuring my friend Georgina Eggleston and her work as a grief guide. And we're going to be talking about what to do how to be and what to say when you get that call or that Facebook post, my friend has COVID, my coworker has passed from COVID. So while these are um, navigating awkward times and sometimes challenging times, here at the Everyday Mindfulness Show, we're committed to staying present in the moment, practicing our kindness practice for ourselves so we can be kind in some of these more challenging conversations. Um, I've got some more shows coming up with uh, Tina Greenbaum, who's a therapist helping us understand when and how to, how to organize this, uh, getting a therapist. Um, we're talking to David Meltzer. His show is live now. He's the man who um, story was featured as the, the show Jerry Maguire. So lots of conversations that I feel so fortunate and privileged to bring you on the Everyday Mindfulness Show in our recorded episodes. And we're so grateful for all of you who are joining in on these live shows. So where are we going to go tomorrow? Hello, Marin. Welcome to the show. Thanks for bringing your light and smile from beautiful California. I'm, I'm trusting that you are um, home in your home. Um, we are working with my Everyday Mindfulness Show and, and the book, Everyday Mindfulness from Chaos to Calm in a Crazy World. Today is I Am Kind. Tomorrow we're going to talk about how to be a light in the world. So as um, we wrap up, I'm going to just go through that list one more time. Um, we're doing a lot of focus on being kind to others in the world, but that kindness needs to start from our own place of being kind. And coming at you from my, my beautiful backyard here in Colorado, you might be able to, to see I've got to, those beautiful 14ers. In, in my in the distance uh, number 10 this week be kind to yourself and call a friend or relative give yourself that gift of a connection that maybe maybe just isn't connected to a contract or work or or COVID-19 just call a friend or relative and, and check check in number nine go read a book perhaps you want to pick up everyday mindfulness from chaos to calm I did make it uh, 4 dollars it's on discount on Amazon digital download Number eight, take a class or feel free to download uh, past episodes of the Everyday Mindfulness Show. Number seven, write yourself a thank you note. 
Number six, wear a hat, do something fun. Um, in, instead of maybe some a lot of work that, that you, you find you have to do. I gave myself a break today and even wore no makeup. Carolyn, welcome to the show, so glad you're here. Now I'm freaking out, I'm not wearing makeup, uh-oh. Number seven, connect to the earth, plant a plant or go look at the blue sky. Number six, take a day where you, you make a commitment to no wine, no alcohol, no cigarettes. If there's something that you know is kind of like your go-to stress reduction that may not be as healthy for you as it could be, give yourself a day without that. Um, number four, eat a salad. Number three, Manny, you're petty, anyone. Number two, drink water. And number 10, take 10 minutes a day solo just to be with yourself. It's my pleasure to be with you. My name is Holly Duckworth. I am the Mindful Leadership Guide. I'm going to be bringing you these live motivational and inspirational messages every single day. And I also want to let you know that if you have a corporation, organization, or association that can't meet face-to-face -face right now, and they're looking for just a little short burst of motivation or inspiration, please uh, feel free to drop them an email or drop me an email and make that introduction. I'd be happy to jump into one of their Zoom calls. Uh, thank you for the team at MCI Group that invited me to their meeting this past week. And we were able to talk about uh, the meeting and event industry, some of the, the challenges, and how we can convert those challenges into moments of kindness. So tomorrow's show is I Am A Light. We're going to talk about ways that you can be a light into the world. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you, Sarah, Marin, Carolyn, and all of you who've joined in on today's Everyday Mindfulness Show Live Edition. Feel free to share this with your friends and be sure to check out the comments. I will be linking all of those links in with you. Until tomorrow, remember, mindful matters, and so do you.